Okay, now we've moved on to a wall hangings, a wall mounted light fixtures, pin tables, things of that nature. These all need to be thoroughly inspected. The end table needs to be taken apart, the drawer needs to come out, you need to thoroughly inspect all inside here, you need to flip the table upside down and check all of the seams in the wood. Don't forget to inspect the, the phone, alarm clock, whatever you may have on the end table because this would be an area the bed bugs definitely would go inside. Um, also, wall mounted lighting fixtures. We need to make sure that we're looking along that seam all the way around to make sure bed bugs haven't found their way behind that. And then uh, any kind of picture or painting that you have on the wall, this needs to be taken off and you need to thoroughly inspect along the seam where the glass meets the frame. You need to inspect the backing, uh, every little crack and crevice on the back and make sure nothing's hiding in there because they can and do hide in these. Uh, another thing right here that we see is a, uh, there's a phone jack. Uh, you really should take that off and look uh, around. And you'll be able to better see if this is off. And you can see underneath this uh, the switch plate here if uh, bed bugs have crawled up behind that and they're hiding in there as well. Um, you also see this particular room has uh, it has a, a, a trim of carpet. The carpet's just continued up the wall instead of using a baseboard. If this was a baseboard, this would still be important to inspect. But you can see right here, this has a easily movable uh, seam. So we need to go through this entire room and inspect this seam thoroughly behind all the beds, behind all the furniture. Don't leave anything out. 